Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to another video. Um, today, this is the last lesson of Unit 5, um, and we're learning Sass and Hills. So before I get to that, let me introduce you today's music. Is um, Shawn Mendes. So I went to his concert back in um, August last year, right? And then I actually got to see him outside of the stadium, Brooklyn, right? And um, he was taking the big road, so I heard a bunch of girls screaming. So I was like, uh oh, it has to be him. So I run, I have never run that fast. And then I saw him in his car. He was probably talking to Camilla, okay? He was on the phone, whatever. Um, so <laughs> I, took a, <laughs> I took a video of me running and screaming. <coughs> anyway. Um, let's get to today's lesson. So, um, before I get to talk about anything else, I just want to talk about the word altitude. So, altitude is basically from one vertex to the opposite segment. So, let's, for example, right? I'm coming from point C. I want to draw an altitude coming from point C to the side AB. So, that means I'm drawing a line, not any line. Slanted, whatever. I do not want that. I want a straight line coming from point C and perpendicular to AB. After I draw the line altitude, I need to have a right angle forming over here, and then this line is called altitude. Okay, now let's get to today's lesson. Uh, so the background music, you guys probably already know. Again, if you like to uh, feature any of your favorite songs, remember to leave it in the comments below. Um, first method we're going to learn, I call it SAS. Okay, so S A A S. This is representing by segment one, which is the segment right here. A representing altitude. A altitude, the other S meaning segment two. Segment one, segment two, altitude, SAS. Okay? Now, A representing by the altitude. So that means when there's A, when I need to use the altitude, I must use a SAS. So now, let's try a problem. Mm. Exercise one, so I'm gonna leave the picture on the side, okay? So it says in the diagram below, I have triangle ABC, right? Altitude CD. I need to find out altitude CD. Now, whenever I need to find out or I need to use the altitude, I must use SAS. So that means AD is three, BD is 12, I, what is the altitude CD. Now, it's segment one over the altitude is equal to altitude over segment two. S A A S, SAS. So segment one is AD, which is three. Over altitude CD, I do not know, X, is equal to altitude X over segment two, which is the 12. Cross multiply. So that means I'm going to get x to the second power is equal to 36. x is equal to square root or radical 36, which is equal to 6. So that means cd is going to be equal to 6. Okay? Now, um, what if I do not need to find out what altitude is? Because I do have other line segments in the triangle, right? So that means... If I don't need altitude, I don't need it, I don't need to find it, I'm going to use hills. So hills representing, H representing hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. So now we're looking at the big triangle, right? The entire triangle. Hypotenuse is the longest side. It's opposite from the right angle of the big triangle. Over leg is equal to leg over the shadow shadow over here right in orange it's underneath the leg so if the leg is here then my shadow has to below the leg if your leg is here your shadow cannot be over here because it's not under it okay if your leg is here then your shadow could be here but that's not the case that we're looking at over here 
shadow stops where the altitude is at. But since I don't need to find out the altitude, I don't need it, I'm going to use health. So let's look at exercise three. So I'm going to leave the picture over here. Um, it says I got a diagram right here, ABC. AD intersects hypotenuse AB. So LCD intersect um, hypotenuse AB. So now they tell you AB is the hypotenuse. If AD is at 4, DB is at 6, what is the leg AC? So, ah, do I need CD, which is the altitude? I don't need CD at all. It's not given to us and we're not looking for it. So that means I have to use hills because altitude is representing by A, right? There's no A in hills. So that means I'm not going to, I have to use hills. Okay, so now. According to Hills, it says hypotenuse over leg is equal to leg over the shadow H L L S Hills. So that means hypotenuse it's given to us, which is A B. Now four plus six is equal to ten. Over the leg, which is A C, I do not know X is equal to leg X over the shadow. Again, shadow is the line segment that's underneath the leg. So leg is over here. This is my leg. The line segment that's underneath it is AD, is the four, okay? Don't give me the six. So that means cross multiply. I'm going to get X to the second power is equal to 40. That means X is equal to radical 40. All right, you could leave it in decimal form or you could leave it in simplest radical form, whatever you like. This background music is called Dance Monkey. Okay, um, my YouTube is on shuffle, so I don't know what's coming next. Well, I, I could know, but I don't want to know. Okay, it's part of life, full of surprises. Now, um, I would like to go over question number three again. Tonight's homework, you do not need to complete the entire paper. All you need to do is complete it on Delta Math, and I will check Delta Math, but you have to mail, mail me, um, um, send it on Google, Doc, Google Classroom, your work. Okay. Um, ooh, the song is also by Shawn Mendes. It's called Treat You Better. Anyway, um, number three, it says um, altitude is BD. Okay, so they tell me that BD is the altitude. Um, AC is this entire thing. CD is 12. AD is 3. What is the line segment AB? Okay, so now this triangle, it's a little bit unusual compared to my other triangles because my other triangle usually like this. This is what we used to. But number three, uh oh, the triangle is not, it's looking a little weird, but it's okay on the test, right? You can always, always rotate your paper into something that we are used to. It's more convenient for us. Now, if we rotate the paper, this triangle is looking much better. So that means, um, I'm looking for AB. Do I need BD, the altitude at all? We do not need. So I know that I have two methods. One is Hills and one is SAS. Now, we need SAS when we need altitude A. I don't need to find it. I don't need it whatsoever. So that means I cannot use SAS. I'm only allowed to use L's, okay? Now, H representing hypotenuse, longest side. So that means the longest side is AC. AC is entire thing. So 3 plus the 12 is equal to 15. So 15 on top. Leg is AB, which is X, we do not know, is equal to, again, leg over the shadow. The shadow is the line segment that's underneath the leg. So this is equal to three. So that means cross multiply. I'm going to get X to the second power is equal to, what's 15 uh, times three? 45, right? I hope so. So that means X, is going to be equal to radical 45 again you could leave it in decimal form radical 45 or you could leave it in simplest radical form which is 3 radical 5 all right so 
those are the only three problems I'm going to go over today. Again, key points, right? When we're looking for the altitude or we need to use the altitude, I need to use SAS because of the A altitude. If I do not need, so number three as an example, right? If I do not need the altitude, I don't need to find it, it's not given. I need to use hills. Now, that's the end of today's video. So, um, again, complete your homework on Delta Math. Hopefully, I get to see you guys in real person soon. So, um, I miss you guys, okay? Goodbye.